them tell it. Come on, Bell. This year's LD Bell's women's basketball team is it the tallest or most athletic? Woo! Nice assist, Gracie. Good job, team. The parents who have watched them all season will say they're not really all that flashy either. I don't think they walk around thinking like, oh, we're we're all big and bad. What they do have is fundamental skills. Yes, let's go. Grit. Oh, nice pass. And a lot of heart. These other teams, they have like D1 recruits, and it's me, 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 me. But on our team, it's us. The team, without a single D1 commit, finished the season 30 and 5. At one point, ranked 11 in the state. We didn't expect it to be this good. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Joyce. Come on, Joyce. Neither did head coach Andy Bloodworth. No way in the world I thought we would be sitting here with 29 wins this year. All right, read, 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 read. That momentum snapped when senior guard Anise Williams tore her ACL. Good job, team. The third tear on this team this season. It sucks, but I just, I want them to know that I'm there for them as a teammate on the bench. But if she needed a lesson on adversity or overcoming an injury like this. All right, here we go. All she had to do. There you go, good. Was look at her coach. He had to work and show people that he is a threat. Good, may have to go get it back, get it back, good. Especially with, you know, his leg, he has one leg. But um, with, <laughs> sorry. Here we go. You see, watching Bloodworth on the sideline at a game, you would never know that he wears a prosthetic leg. Good, good, good. Nice job. He's had it for almost 25 years. Going all the way back to when it first happened. Uh, just noticed a little bit of swelling in the back of my ankle. The former college athlete was just 25 and in his first year of teaching. Fast forward, jumping through a lot of hoops, a lot of biopsies. We get the word that it is cancer. And, Doctors uh, gave him two options. You, know, you keep your leg and never remember it the way it was. We'll go in and scoop the tumor out. And you're going to have roughly 30, 40 percent chance of survival. Or we can be more aggressive. And I said, let's go. Let's, let's get it done. It's no decision. Come set it, Joyce. Good team. The amputated his lower leg, followed by 17 rounds of chemo. Spin and pin, spin and pin. Come on, Gracie. Then word Coach Bloodworth was cancer free. Good, nice job, nice job. Good job. Honestly, it was the Good hardest job. thing I've ever had to do. Um, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I'm glad it's over, but it's it makes you stronger. It makes you stronger. It makes you appreciate the small things. The small things, like being able to step in to help with the drill at practice. You got it, Gracie. You got it, Gracie. Good drive. It comes down to the little things, like we always talk about. And teaching young athletes important lessons. Him himself just walking there is just telling us that no matter what you face, no matter what adversity you face, you're going to be okay. Good. Hustle back. Lessons in winning at life. Get the rebound there. Yeah, buddy! They're getting even from a coach. No! who's lost Good. so much. Nice job, nice job. In Hearst. Boom! I'm Janelle Ford.